Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Dr. Osborne with Guru MD. I am the founder, president, CEO, and uh, we're a true uh, startup from Austin, Texas. And before we get started, just please pay attention to all the photos here. On the screen, all those photos will make sense throughout the presentation. So quickly, uh, we're, every success has a story. So Guru MD's story started around midnight about a year and a half ago. And this is my nephew, Jaden. So I get a phone call from his mother around midnight, and she is really concerned because his ear is inflamed, swollen, red. He's spiking a fever. He's feeling really agitated, and she doesn't know what to do. Well, I practice emergency medicine. I'm a physician. So I ask her to just simply uh, shoot over a text message of his ear, an image of his ear. So I get an image of his ear at midnight, and all the clinics in town are closed. And I'm able to quickly diagnose a staph infection over his right ear. And so I know he needs antibiotics quickly. Otherwise, you know, this can end up in a huge ER visit, ER bills, and hospitalization. So I got him on the antibiotics he needed right then and there. And two to three uh, days later, his symptoms had resolved. He's doing much better. The mom's happy. He's happy. He's back to playing football. So why telemedicine? So as you can see in the photos here, uh, the use case I just described for telemedicine involved getting access, medical care right at home. It was very cost effective and they were able to avoid uh, the germ infested emergency rooms and uh, urgent cares. Let's talk about the telemedicine market. Today it's a 20 to $40 billion market, so it's quite large. And it's projected to hit uh, $113 to $120 billion over the next five years. Um, and if you look at uh, the image on the right, all the states in orange, uh, this is a really important slide. All the states in orange, all 35 of them, have active legislation mandating pri private insurance companies pay for these video visits. So that's really huge. I'm going the wrong way here. Okay, so here's another slide here talking about the telemedicine market, how robust it is. And, you know, this 20 to $40 billion market cap right now is only at a 2 to 7% utilization rate. So there's still a lot of market share out there to grab. So why is there low utilization? Well, at GuruMD, we really like to listen to patients. We like to listen to their feedback and model our platform over their feedback. So this is why we feel like there's low utilization. A lot of people, they just don't know what telemedicine is. When I ask them, they often think, can I see a doctor through telemedicine? Do I still have to go to a clinic? So there's still a lot of education that needs to be done. Um, you know, and once they figure out the cost savings associated with telemedicine, they have difficulty signing up. So there's difficult platforms out there. And once they finally get to a medical provider, often the medical providers aren't educated themselves enough to know how to efficiently practice telemedicine. So I'll have patients tell me, oh yes, I told the doctor through my video visit that I had a fever and a cough, and he tells me to go to the emergency room. Well, this is completely against what telemedicine is designed for. Telemedicine is designed to keep patients out of the emergency room, out of the urgent cares, for only, non for only true emergencies. So we're really trying to save the emergency room for true emergencies and not non-emergencies. Right now in the United States, depending on what study you read, over 60 to 65% of cases that go to the emergency room are not non-emergencies. So the emergency rooms are really getting abused. And we feel like to truly keep these patients out of the emergency room, we have to offer higher level services, like things you'd get in the ER, which is lab work, imaging, x-ray, CT scans, and all, uh, you know, lab capabilities and prescriptions. So let's talk about educating patients. So we feel like a really good market is the, uh, the large businesses, uh, medium to large businesses, right? So today, businesses offer telemedicine as a benefit to their employees, but look at the, the utilization rate. The utilization rate is two to 7%, like we talked about earlier. However, studies show if the telemedicine company works with uh, the employer and their HR team, utilization rates can hit 40 to 50 to 60%, saving these companies tons of money. So that's how we're different. We team up with the employer. 
And of course, we're from Texas, and Texas, it's all about Friday Night Lights. We're big into football, right? So we talked about these bottlenecks with education. We like to, to tackle bottlenecks head on. Uh, we really have developed a simple platform, very easy for patients to use. Our five-star reviews online prove that. Patients, uh, our product speaks for itself. We like to think of ourselves as a telemedicine on steroids because we not only offer online doctor visits, we offer labs, prescriptions, x-rays, CT scans, things that uh, patients would get at a higher level facility. Uh, let's talk about our product stage. We are currently live. We are post revenue. We have patients. We have a patient following. We're serving two states. We're serving the state of Texas and New Mexico. We're generating revenue. And we've partnered with Frozen Mountain. Frozen Mountain works with American Well, which is a very large telemedicine vendor. But we're very aggressive and very proactive on our, on our treatment and also educating the patients as well as the doctors. And here's one of our many five-star reviews, which we have on our Facebook. And here's our team. We feel like team is very important. This is the team that we put together to tackle these bottlenecks. And uh, it's been great working with these guys. Who benefits from Guru MD? I know it sounds too good to be true that everybody wins, but truly they do. Individuals win because it's affordable, it's accessible. There's a doctor in the back of your pocket. If you have a cell phone, you have access to a doctor. Employers love it because it reduces their insurance claims, which can save them tons of money on insurance premiums. Insurance companies like it because we keep people out of the ER. And healthshare networks, I don't know if you guys are very familiar with healthshare networks. Healthshare networks uh, today are growing rapidly because they're designed with the intent that insurance companies were originally designed. And that's to really be cost effective and share savings. So healthshare networks uh, are designed like this. So typically, if, you have, if you're part of a health share, the individual is responsible for the first three to $500 of their medical visit. And with GuruMD, we're able to do full workups, including imaging, labs, prescriptions for under this $300 uh, range. So it saves health share networks quite a bit of money. And we're completely different from our competitors because we have a social responsibility. We believe in giving back. So affordable, accessible medicine shouldn't be just for the privileged or those that can afford it. So a certain percent of our proceeds goes towards free medical visits to patients that can't afford uh, to see a doc. And this is great because even 90% of clients, statistics show, 90% of clients would rather do business uh, with a company that has a social cause and believes in giving back. So visit startengine.com forward slash GuruMD to invest in our movement. The timing is everything. We feel like the timing is now. We're in a $20 billion market cap. It's projected to hit 113 to $120 billion uh, over the next five years. And GuruMD is in it now, generating revenue. We have traction, guys. So invest in our traction, invest in responsible medicine, invest in giving back. We really try to work with companies and corporations to educate the providers as well as the patients. And here's our disclaimer. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can talk. Testing. Okay, go ahead. Did you? Okay, privately. Yes. Any other questions? No questions. Going once, going twice, okay.